importance? What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word variation? It is the difference between the things or people. Variation is the difference between the ideal and actual situation. Why do you think most of the species of the planet are different to each other? All of the species of the planet have a variation because of a blueprint called the DNA or the deoxyribose nucleic. Can you say what is DNA in this case? The variation occurs due to the DNA. And what is DNA? DNA is a the human cause variation in human. It is the reason why as there are difference, DNA are different. Have you all heard that when we cannot identify a body, we go for the DNA test. But when some parents they fight for a newborn body, baby, that time also, oh what? They go for the DNA test. Because DNA of one family is same. So DNA is in the human cause variation is two. Any alteration or change in DNA leads to a change in the protein that affects the body structure. Yes. Can you see? This is the structure of a chromosome. It is the structure of a chromosome. It is the centromere over here. You know, centromere is only present in animal cells, not in plant cells. And chromosomes are always in pair. This the DNA over here is presented. This is the helical structure and the genes are present over here. And this is a superphosphate backbone. This is the helical structure of a DNA and the backbone that is superphosphate backbone. Here is actually the thing when we see under the microscope, enlarged structure of it. What is this? Enlarged structure. It has got four arms. Can you see? P arm. That is the structure of a chromosome. P arm. One is your Q. And these two are called your sister chromatids. And this is the DNA. And this is the other cytosine, leonine, adine, thymine, liquid. These are the structures which are there. Now next. DNA is present in chromosomes. Chromosomes are present in the nucleus. The nucleus is present in the cell. Yes, the cell. All of you know the cell you have studied in class 9. The chromosomes are present inside the nucleus. They do not appear every time. It is not seen every time. During cell division, they appear as thick thread-like structure. Because it is not a you cannot see it or it is not visible under the microscope also. But during cell division, this chromosome they pair up like this, and that time only they are seen. This is an enlarged structure of a chromosome, and this is the telomere. This structure is called, and the chromosomes are always in pair. What is the number of chromosome in human beings? 23 pairs. How many we have? 23 pairs of chromosomes are there in human beings. Now let us go to the next. A nucleus in a cell of an organism contains DNA molecules or chromosomes and nucleus is present in a cell that contains information for the inheritance of features from one generation to the next generation. Yes. This DNA or the genetic material, what is the function of the gene? It carries information or the genetic material from one generation to another generation. That is why this, this DNA is the most important for us. Generation. Thus, the process of reproduction is to make multiple copies of the blueprints of DNA to ensure the same body design. This is nothing but the cell division, meiotic cell division. Means simple in how we see in biological fisheries, 
amoeba the cell divides into two daughter cells similarly in this the mother cell ha uh, this chromosome they replication means they duplicate two similar chromosomes they come and cross the blue blue and the green and after that when they come to the center there is a cleavage what we call cleavage means it forced in middle and slowly the cleavage it goes on increasing it goes on increasing and one part you will see it is divided into two parts and we get two daughter cells what we get two daughter cells can you see this is what it is a simple cell division Or what we see in amoeba, binary division, is it? Amoeba is an animal or a plant? Animal or a plant? Huh? Animal. So here, what happens in our amoeba as it divides into two groups? What type of division it is called? Mitochondrial meiosis. Mitochondrial meiosis. Because the number of chromosomes in this remains the same. Constant. Yes or no? Yes. Starting here is one pair, and at the end also these two daughter cells they are having equal. So in mitochondrial cell division, the number of chromosomes always remain the same. And the other type is your meiosis cell division. Then come. DNA copies are made during the cell division. The cell divides into two copies of DNA using the biochemical reactions. Once the DNA copy is kept in the original cells, this is how is the daughter cell form. It is nothing but your cell division in amoeba. Can you see the cell division in amoeba? What type of uh, division it is called? Binary division. It is a sexual or sexual reproduction. Reproduction, binary fission, and under this thing we are again reading about binary fission in lesson one. Yes. In that here you see in the middle it is splitting into t two daughter cells, but in lesson one what happens? It divides vertical. Lesson one it divides vertical. Now parent cell. So first what happens? The parent cell it rounds up like this, and as amoeba has got no Particular structure does it have any particular structure? Any way it can draw the middle portion is your nucleus. So it is the first one nucleus divides into two. Then it comes to this way. One side it goes at one point it divides like this and it gives two daughter cells. Simple. This is parent cell. We have the nucleus divides. Nucleus divide. Then cytoplasm divides into That is cytoplasmic division. We say oh, cytoplasmic divides. Then lastly we get two daughter cells. And when does binary fission take place? In favorable condition only. Favorable condition means water is available, food is available. Then only it takes place. And the other copy is sent to a new cell of the daughter cell. The daughter cell or the new cell formed. Has a new cell structure. This new cell with new DNA apparatus exists or survives if the DNA copy is capable to adjust to the situation. The variations in DNA are caused by during the reproduction process form the basis of evolution. Yes. What is variation? That we will do. A common example of variation is some people have brown. Can you see? These are the features of some people. Variation. We all are different from each other. In your book, we have studied about one example that here. Some are having attached ear lobe and some are having ear lobe. So here, what we are telling? Some people have brown eyes, some blue, some green, and some black. Some right with right hand. Black. Blue eyes are very rare, and if you 
going to change your eye in this way. You can use an artificial lens. That is there. So this is what. So some people, that is variation. Some people have brown eyes, some have blue, some green and some black. And some write with right hand and some with left hand. Nice, some blue, some green and some black. Some write with right hand, some with left. And many more differences can be noted. Even think about tigers. tigers. Every tiger comes with a unique stripe. Yes. Think about a tiger. So now you In this, all the stripes are how the variation helps. Here is how variation is important. One, variations make species better fitted in the struggle for existence. existence. Two, it helps species to adapt themselves according to the changing environment. Three, discontinuous variations produce new traits in the organisms. Four, variations allow readers or scientists to improve plants and animals for increased resistance, better yield, quicker growth and lesser input. Improvement of food resources, one chapter you have done. In that part happened, variation allows these breeders or scientists to improve the plants and animal races for increased resistance, better yield, quicker growth and lesser impure. All horticulture department, that is vegetative propagation, is done only for quicker growth. And you remember example, Mrs. Our scientist, Swami Nathan, M.S. Swaminathan had produced that Sapati wheat. It was due to this, where it is increased in resistance and better yield also. And the quality of that wheat is very good also. For baking, it has a good quality of our baking purpose also. So variation, importance of variation is very necessary. Next. Hi. Variations give each organism a distinct individual. It helps it helps in species. We all are different from each other. Six. Re adaptations see. happen due to mutual variations, which help in survival against sudden changes in the environment. Let us do a quick recap for the important points learnt in the video. Yes. What is telling? The difference characteristics between individuals of the same species is called variation. That is the definition. What do you, how do you define variation? Then you can say the difference in characteristics between individuals of the same species are called variation. And variations are very important for evolution and survival of an organism. Is it it? Survival. The variation. If you are not different from your parents, you cannot exist in this changing world. Is it it? Take a simple example of using a mobile. The way you can use it, I cannot do that. Or at your age, I was not having that much knowledge about mobile world. But you all have to have it because of this changing environment. So that is what it is. Variations are very important for evolution and survival of organisms. Is it clear? So, that is the difference. Characters, individuals of same species. We all are belonging to same species. Homo sapiens, but we all are different from each other. That is variation. That is variation. So, all of you understood? Now, next. Yes. Now we we'll study about the method of vegetative propagation. Introduction. 
that is the natural method of vegetative propagation are common among seeds, plants, that is roots, stem, and leaves. Why it is called vegetative reproduction or propagation? What are the three? Root, stem, and leaves. No seeds are there. No seeds are there. Then the key points you can see. No, no, both. Only this much. Yes, yes, yes. Flowers that have both 
gamers and cocktails are bisexual. Bisexual class. The unisexual flowers have either. See, this is a unisexual flower. You always get confused between men, bisexual and in unisexual only one, either male or female is present in the flower. Yeah, this is a male flower of cooker beta, pumpkin. Common name is pumpkin. Can you see the anchor over here and this other person? Here, yeah, this is the male flower which we use for eating. And the female flower we don't use for eating. Believe it. Because from here, from the base, it will develop. From the base, the pumpkin or the cooker pita will develop. So this type of flower is called unisexual flower.
Okay? So thank you, children. Thank you. 